holder of the code. In any city, in any country, anywhere in the world, take yourself to any halfway house or mental institution you can get yourself into. However, for this holder, you may be better off taking yourself to the mental institution. If you cannot hold up to this holder's trials, it is exactly where you will end up. Once you reach the front desk, look and see if the receptionist is typing on a computer. If not, you may leave and safely live out the remainder of your days. If, however, the receptionist is typing something, ask to see someone who calls themselves the holder of the code. The receptionist will type faster and faster until finally their fingers snap from the relentless typing and they will pass out. Once the person behind the desk is out cold, walk around to the computer and look at the screen. Despite their frantic typing, you will only notice a three-digit number on the screen and a key underneath the keyboard. Take the key and find the room number that was printed on the computer screen. It may seem like an eternity before you actually find it, but you must press on, lest the holder deem you unworthy. As soon as you have found the room, unlock it with the key you found at the front desk and step inside. Oh, and make sure you lock the door behind you, because if the holder has deemed you unworthy, then a terror more horrible than anything you can ever imagine will open the door and then proceed to chew upon you for all eternity. Lie down on the bed and close your eyes. Wait exactly two minutes. Count it in your head if you must. And as soon as those two minutes are up, you must scream at the top of your lungs. I wish to break the code. If you have succeeded, then when you open your eyes, you will be in a dark, office-like area with only one small gleam of light emanating from a single computer screen. If the holder does not see you as fit, when you open your eyes, you will have joined a legion of impaled corpses in a sea of rock spikes, forever forced to suffer the same death over and over. Walk to the one computer screen and see a woman sitting down, typing frantically as did the person behind the desk when you first began. If you are a female, it will be a male typing here. You must ask them a single question and nothing more, and you must ask them, What is it that keeps them in check? The person will stop typing and stand. A bright light will shine down upon them, revealing the most beautiful man or woman you have ever seen. They will try to seduce you. However, you must persist, and as they step closer, you must say with all your conviction, I will not break the code which keeps me in check. If you have done correctly, the person will let out an ear-piercing scream which drives most seekers to insanity and then slowly melt away onto the floor, leaving a pile of bones. Reach down and you will find the skull has a small hole in the back. Reach inside with two fingers and pull out the small memory card inside. You will notice that the lock switch on the side is set to Lock. Slide it down and everything will go black. You will wake up two hours after the time you began your quest in your home, on your bed with a memory card in your hand. The memory card you hold is object 483 of 538. Do you dare see the information it holds within?